Okay, welcome back to a little fly time. Today we're going to be tying a little mini hopper. The previous video I did a rather large dry dropper. This mini hopper is something I use as a searching pattern. Kind of tied in the style of a black stonefly. The hook I'm using is just a standard number 12 dry fly hook. Nothing special about it. And the thread I'm going to be using is 72 denier unithread. Start with your thread behind the eye, wrap it backwards. Take off the tag end, bring your thread all the way around the top of the bend of the hook. Bring it back up a few wraps. And now we're going to tie in some of this peacock harrow. I'm going to use the eye area. Take two strands. Cut off the little curly cue area. And tie it in with the best side facing the hook. And bring it all the way around to past the top of the bend of the hook here. Bring your thread back up to right behind the eye. And now you're going to wrap in the hurl either hand over hand or use your rotary vise. Take it all the way back up to about the three-quarter point. When you get up here, go ahead and tie it in. So either break it away or cut it away. Alright, from here take your thread back up to behind the eye, maybe a half an eye length behind it. And we're going to tie in a piece of two millimeter black foam that I cut to a little strip there. Take some super glue. Go ahead and dab it on your thread. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit into the hurl too. Just the beginning of the hurl. Take this black foam. Just lay it right past the eye. That you're going to cut that off to length. So just make sure you have enough. Lay it right on top and pinch it and give it a wrap. Nice loose wrap. Make sure everything stays on top of the hook. And start wrapping backwards to right into the hurl. Maybe one or two wraps. Wrap it back up forward. Adjusting your foam as you go. It's going to move on you a little bit so just you want it to end up with everything on top. Give it a little twist there. How's that look? Looks pretty good. Everything's on top. Bring your thread and park it right in the middle of your thread wrap there. Take your scissors and cut away just right past the bend of the hook, the black foam. 
I like to trim off the hard ends here, the little sharp ends. Give it a little more rounded look. Yep. Like that. So now you're going to add a little more super glue. Couple dabs toward the rear. Don't go up toward the eye section there. Get a little bit off there, that's a little too much. Get too much on there, just dab it off. Like that. Now you're going to take a piece of this medium brown foam and lay it right on top with the front section long enough that you can bend it back over like this. And you need a long enough section behind that you're going to trim it off just a quarter inch behind the black section. So go ahead and lay it right on top. Give it a pinch. Give it a little loose wrap there just to make sure everything's in line. Tie it in. A little tighter each time. Thread's uh, only 72 denier, so don't yank on it too hard. See how that looks. Everything's lined up below it. You have enough to bend it back. So now you're going to grab some EP fibers. But I'm using just original EP fibers. When I pull it out, I'd like to take a little section out like this. And here's where I cut it off the last time. I have to show you here. This is uh, actually like a light brown color. Just strip it away a little bit. These are really hairy fibers, but they're they're pretty durable. Now that you got a section about the thickness that you want, just uh, just a pinch, nothing too crazy. lay right on top of your thread wrap there. Give it a wrap. Center it. A couple more wraps. Check the centering again. Looks good. Go ahead tie it in. Just a couple turns is all you need there. Make sure you're not twisting everything around here. I'll take your EP fibers. Pull them straight up, cut them the length, the length I want is just about an inch or so, maybe not quite an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch, but just like that, nothing too crazy. Now you're going to take your front section of the brown foam, pull back a little bit, to fold it over. When you have it folded over, pinch it and push forward just a little bit. Just to give yourself a little uh, bulkier front section there. Take your thread and give it a couple wraps. Oh, and break your thread. If that does happen, just go ahead and start the thread back on. Cut away the bad end here first. Just like that. Now 
make sure everything's still centered there. Cut away your bottom piece of brown foam. Just past your black foam. Cut away your piece of top to length here. I like to trim it down to about that size. Then I'll cut the hard ends off it, the little sharp ends. Kind of round it off a little bit. Like that. The front section. Trim a little bit off of that too. Trim the edges off. And then on the back we're going to do the same. Trim the edges off. Everything should be rounded around, rounded a little bit. Make sure everything's centered. I'm going to give it a couple more wraps here. Now I'm going to add some legs. Legs I'm using is these just uh, hairline. Hairline Crazy Legs Brown Orange Flick. Same ones I used on the last video. Tie one in on one side. What I take is one strand of these and cut it into quarters. And that's enough for two flies. Tie it in. Make sure they're Pretty well adjusted in length. Take your whip finish tool. Just give it a couple whips there. You're gonna add some Sally Hanses to it, so cut it away. Make sure everything is in proportion here. Actually, that looks pretty good. What I do like to do is flare this out a little bit. When I want it on the water, sit it on the water, I want it sitting like that. With the wings touching the water. So it looks like a big fly that landed there and Kind of in distress. All right, take your Sally Hansons. Just give it a good coating. The thread here. Make sure you get all the thread up and underneath. I like to get my thread wraps down in between there. I want this fly to be very durable. Okay, there you go. You got yourself a little mini hopper. Kind of a version of the big one I did last video, but EP fibers. A couple different color on the foam. Good searcher pattern. Good rough water pattern. Very very good for the rough water. It's very, in fact, it's almost impossible to sink this fly. If you put a big dropper on it, you'll sink it. But if you fish it by itself, you won't sink it. <clears throat> Alright, hope you liked the video. If you do, give me a like. Give me a subscribe. And hope you enjoy it. Tie one up. Go fish it and stay safe out there. We'll see ya.